everybody. Welcome to our last full day here down at PCB. Getting another late start to it. Jess has been down here at the beach for a little over an hour already while I had to wait for Sleepyhead to get up. Um, Ty's been up for quite a while, but woke Chad up. Now we're down here. Originally, we were gonna go home today, but we decided to stay one extra day and we are sure glad that we did. And the reason that we're glad, you can see it right there, a yellow flag. First yellow flag of the entire trip. So the Gulf, she's calm, she's peaceful. Ty will be able to play in there. Chad will too if he feels like it. More time in the water, which is not a bad thing. Ty and I were out in the water for quite some time. Jess and Ty are still out there. You can see Jess there. Ty's gotta be close by. Ty's having the time of his life. Chad's Yay. chilling in the shade, but he's out here and that's what matters. But that water is so peaceful, feels great. Wish it could have been like this the whole week. No folks, this isn't deja vu. We are back here. Ooh, somebody's angry. We are back here at Triple J's for our final dinner of the trip. Everybody loved it that much. We decided to come back one more time. Those that maybe didn't see the video when we came here last time, I'll show y'all the menu again, but here are the starters, sandwiches. I apologize for the lighting. It is very dark in here. Sides, and you see all the dressings are homemade. Then the seafood options, because this is a steak and seafood place. And then you've got the lighter fare. There are desserts here. And then here's the kid menu. And then there are drinks. Alrighty, our salads have come out. And they are very, very good. And the bread came out as well. And our food is here. And tonight, I get to have steak. So I got the prime rib, which is one of my favorite steaks. Got some au jus, some horseradish, and then these are their cheese grits. Chad got a loaded baked potato and fried okra. Ty got his steak, so he's thrilled. And steak fries. Just got the sirloin with a loaded potato. And Nana got the ribeye with, I believe, all broccoli or scallop yeah. potatoes. Yeah. Dinner was great. Everybody's stuffed. And now we are at our favorite mini golf location, Coconut Creek Golf and Grand Maze. We have been here several times. Oh, and if you're wondering, Ty ate his entire steak, half a Nana steak, a couple bites of Jess's steak, and a bite of my steak. And we also have a funny story. So if y'all remember, this was the place that gave us the key lime mints when we left the first time. Well, they gave us just peppermints this time. So Ty asked if they still had the key lime ones. And our waitress came back with how many? A whole handful. A whole handful of key lime mints. For that little here at Coconut Creek, they have a great deal called the Pay One Price deal, where uh, it's thirty dollars, but uh, you get unlimited golf and the maze for the rest of the day, and then uh, I want to say until like five p.m. the next day. So it's a great deal. Um, we're not utilizing that tonight. We did get two Pay One prices, um, so that Ty and me or Ty and Jess can do the maze after our, our golf course. And then Chad's sitting that out. He doesn't feel like doing it. Uh, and then we had two free game tokens from previous hole-in-ones here. And again, this is a course we've been to many, many times, but they have a brand new 18 hole course called uh, the Washed Ashore course. So you can see hole number one here is the Hammerhead Shark. And it gives you an idea of what you should do on the course. Now the other courses here don't have themed 
holes like this. So you've got the shell on shore hole here for the second one. The others are like rainforest type themed. So filled with tropical animals. So hole number three is all about these driftwood logs. So which log you're gonna try. And you gotta avoid a squirrel. If there's a squirrel somewhere. Hole number four here is the starfish on the sand. So, so far, all of these are relatively similar in their scheme. And uh, nobody's gotten a hole in one yet. Let's see if Chad changes that. Nope. Hole number five is gonna be Chad's favorite hole because it's the sea turtle hole. Sea Turtle Crossing. So will we go around like Ty did or will we try to hit it over the sand? All right, hole number six here are these spiral shells. It says they move slowly on shore. Will you use one? Ty didn't. Hole number seven is the boat wreck. The poor SS Coco here. Haha, <laughs> get it? Coconut Creek Coco. Uh, it uh, struggled and it, uh, it, it wrecked. Ty went through the wreck on accident and set him up better. Hole number eight, we have these giant finger coral. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. The halfway mark, hole number nine here, the starfish. It's crawled on the rocks. Bum, 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 bum. Starting the second half, we have the seahorse. And his name is Charlie. And Ty's already three. Here we've got a pair of logs for number 11. Time to shoot through the logs. No. Ty did not. It took until hole number 11. But hole in one, number one, has been achieved by yours truly. I knew you were going to say that. And now on hole 12, we have the hippopotamus. I told you. Harry the you. hippo. You very cool. Hole number 13 brings us to the conch shell. It will test your aim. Can you shoot through the conch shell? Hole 14, we are now looking directly into the sun. Yay, we're already sweating bullets. We've got a crab on the rocks. You gotta put around his claws, which the boys called landmines. Hole 15 here, we've got an octopus. Otto the octopus. I'm still yet to see Larry the lobster. All right, hole 16 here with Ariel. The mermaid up on top of the rocks. Just logging rocks. Here we go. Third log course or hole on this course. Hole 17. We have the lobster traps and they can trap your ball if you're not careful. So look out on where you hit it. Fish in the rocks. So you got to try to get your ball sun is blocking it. Here we go. You gotta try to get your ball right there in the middle of the fish's mouth. And if you do, it's a hole in one and it's a free game hole. Okay, if it drops into the throat, you win the free game. Oh, Ty hit it in the rocks. So that's a score of two. Here's the final tally. Ty and Chad both tied with 52. And even though I got the only hole in one, Jess shot an incredible back nine because I was winning by a stroke. And she shot a two under on the back nine and yeah. beat me by three. All right, Ty and I now are gonna do the grand maze. Jess and Chad are gonna sit up there on the observation tower in the shade and watch us to see how long it takes us to navigate our way. See, we've got to make it to all four towers, each one representing a different island of the Pacific. You can see Samoa, Tahiti, Fiji, and Bali. 
and we've got to make all four before we can come back and officially be done. So we'll see how we do. Yeah. I've asked Jess to film a time lapse. So if she's able to get that working, we'll insert that in um, along with what I'm going to film while we're the in. Maze Solver's most basic axiom is concilia non vulganda. Don't give away secrets of the maze. So we clocked in at 6 11 p.m. And we'll see how we do. Ty leading the way right now. We've successfully made it to the island of Fiji. So we'll come over here and we will hole punch our F where it says Fiji. And we did that in and two boom. minutes. Tower two. We've made it to the island of Samoa. So does that mean we're part of the bloodline? We're part of the bloodline? This is we're, we're in Samoa. We're Samoan? No. No, maybe. For those curious, I punched at 6.17. So that's six minutes that we've been in here so far. Two minutes later, we are in Tahiti. So we've made our way to three of the four now. So we've been Samoan and now we're Tahitian. And then all we have to go is to Bali. Another three minutes later and we're at Bali. So this will be number four. And we can head out. The finish line is ahead. We got all four checkpoints. We did now it. let's clock in. We and did see it. How we did. I said it had to be sub 15. We did it in 14 minutes, folks. Woohoo! And Chad, where you have this ball maze. Yeah, I did it. That you've got to spin the wheel to get the ball. Over there and make it over there. Chad ball finished it while y'all were doing the maze. It was pretty easy. Just besides it being it's hard, hard to turn. turn. No, I need it. There you go. Got to use those muscles. Goodness, look at him go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's almost finished. Uh oh. He's got. You got to course correct a little faster. He did it, folks. Yay! He did it. Good job, Ty. And for the last time, we're back at rocket lanes gonna let the boys finish off their cards see if they want to make any last minute purchases because yeah ty has like eight thousand tickets to use My card. all right chad has made his way over here already ty and jess stopped at air hockey because he wanted to play air hockey with her yeah, first goal, goal, so they've got goals of what they'd like to get so we'll see if they can get enough tickets tonight one final time right, ty and i have made it over to the other part of the arcade where he is going to try his hand at mario kart who's he going to be toad just to make me angry because he knows i hate toad he won race twice on this thing this week and he's won both times as Toad. Yes. This is going to simulate a pinball machine and we're going to ride and y'all are going to join us. I don't know how well you're going to experience it. Oh my goodness, we are the ball. Okay.
Larson multi ball. Seven on the big bass wheel. Still can't believe he won a thousand tickets. And Ty used his last dollar uh, fifty to play to play Chad one more time in air hockey. See if he can keep the winning streak alive. He and I tied in this earlier. We played it and we tied three to three because it just ran out on us. Because we neither neither one of us scored for the longest time, and so it, it just timed out. Just had to sub in for a very winded Chad. Hey. Right now, Ty is winning four to three. It could time out on them like it did the two of us earlier. I can't believe I got started. And we leave with more giant stuffies. I got a uh, rainbow tie-dye Patrick and the same giant koala that Chad got. Chad got a giant pink bear and another little thing. Nothing but stuffies. Just said we'd have to do it at least twice. So we're gonna round out our night and our trip by coming one more time to the Pink Pelican Ice Cream Bar. And as you can see, it is hopping. All right, we've got our stuff. Ty's taking a picture, that's why they're smiling. But Mom and Chad are sharing a waffle bowl. It's chocolate. And yeah, Ch Ty's much happier because we got him a snow cone that's basically pina colada because it's pineapple and coconut. And I got the exact same thing I got last time because it was so good. And this is that this is that brain freeze, which is pineapple Dole Whip mixed with Sprite. And that's a wrap on our trip to PCB this July. Thanks for coming along with us. If you missed any of the episodes, please be sure to check out our playlist that features all the videos for this trip. We had such a great time. We always do when we go down there great way to cap off the trip by going to our favorite golf place being able to do the grand maze with ty and then finishing off the night one more time at uh pelicans um just love pelicans ice cream bar down there great 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 place well thank you again truly appreciate all of you that tuned in and that stayed this long if you enjoyed this video please give it a like down below as it helps our channel out tremendously if you have any questions comments things that we can pray about or send you good vibes for please leave those in the comment section below we absolutely love interacting with you guys and if you're not subscribed welcome and we hope that you'll think about subscribing to the channel and joining our ever-growing community here because we fully believe that there's something here for everybody at coker culture 
Until next time, what's your why? Yeah.